Ooh, how's it going? Um, sorry, my setup is not quite fully set up yet, but uh, I'm not even gonna guess what is the what we're what's like the deal today because I guessed yesterday or like I thought I knew what we were gonna do yesterday, and it turned out we did absolutely nothing related to what I was thinking would happen. Um, so it's possible that we do some of that stuff today, uh, the stuff that we were gonna do yesterday. But you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tempt fate. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna leave it leave it open ended. Um, what uh, what am I doing? Uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'll run the script because I'm really interested to see what happens when I run the script. Because what I did yesterday or what we did yesterday. Oh okay, well it's not running. Hold on, <laughs> let's switch over to face cam, shall we? Or uh, switch over to screen cam. Um, because uh, yeah, I did a lot of weird things yesterday, and I'm not surprised if it's not working today. Uh, for example, I... I... <laughs> Whoa, what is this supposed to say? Presumably, if kick GM equals true. But do we, do we actually want that statement, or is it left over? Oh, no, no, it's just not supposed to end in a colon. Yeah. Okay. So that's... <laughs> um... Yeah, all right, so <laughs> there's, a little, <laughs> there's a little cleanup uh, to be done here. Because, uh, yeah, yesterday um, we didn't rerun the script after we had, like, finished our pretty major refactor of, like, how a lot of the game worked. Uh, so some a lot of this is untested. Uh, wow, how many times did I make this mistake? Uh, <laughs> so I guess, yeah, so I guess the first order of business is just to get the script up and running. And what, how many times did I make this mistake? Cripes. Uh <laughs> Apparently a million times. <laughs> um, I guess that's what you get when you make a mistake and then copy and paste it a bunch of places. Um, yeah, so just getting the script up and running will be slightly miraculous, so who knows how long that'll take. And then uh, once it is back up and running, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if there's a few bugs here or there. A few, uh, <laughs> a few odd occurrences. Uh, list index out of range. Oh, I got this error yesterday when I was doing what? Uh, session top. Oh, I got this yesterday. Oh, when I was trying to render this stuff before um, before loading in the stream data. So I guess actually, right. Yeah, so I um, the way I initialized the queue, there's now a scheduling system. So like stuff doesn't happen like up front. It all happens like when it's... Uh, when it's scheduled to happen, like it, I don't know, it's, I mean, it's not like a, a major difference, really, it's just like, there's now basically, there's basically now a system that keeps track of the order in which things happen. Hey, Mr. David, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, and so, yeah, one thing I had not considered is that I actually have to load the stream data before I run the animation, because the animation references the stream data. Fun fact. <laughs> so, um, well, so actually, let me look at this error again, because session top equals zero. Or session top index zero, that's actually index zero. I don't know if we can necessarily assume this. I think um. I think like yeah, like I do want to have loaded that data first, so I did want to. Uh, yes, this is PyCharm. Uh, <laughs> I always use real IDEs, but yes, this is PyCharm. Um, spider is a real IDE. <laughs> um, and it's better in a lot of ways. PyCharm is, now that I've been using PyCharm, I can tell you, PyCharm is awful in a lot of ways. Like, there's, there are so many things PyCharm does that is just so bad. So bad. Like, literally, like, if you go back over the last several weeks of my stream, like, you'll see me, like, like, at least, um, well, I, I could, I could go into the details, but I'll, uh, it'll come up. Because PyCharm is awful in a lot of ways. It's great in a lot of other ways. <laughs> it's definitely worth the price. But <laughs> uh, hey, Steeler, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I fixed this error, but then it occurred to me that like I kind of um, I mean hypothetically, I don't think I can I, can, I don't think I can guarantee that session top index zero actually exists. So like, because like, what does session top equal when? Yeah. Right. It. I think the way session top is handled like. It, um, it's not always going to have something that exists. Like, it's, 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 
it's uh, sometimes it'll just be um, an empty list. Uh, so I think what I want to actually be doing there is to say uh, if session top, uh, if the length of session top is greater. Oh wait, but this is an else ifs. Oh yeah, so I can put this whole thing in inside the if. So if um. Oh wait, can I? Session donators. No, the other one is session com. Well, actually, no. If the session donators list is length zero, then we know that there is none of this other session data. So yeah, no. So if the session. Oh wait, session top though. Huh. Well, no. There's no harm in just just adding the additional um. Conditional that the length of uh, session uh, uh, top uh, has to be greater than zero. There's no harm in adding that because the other this other condition can't evaluate true unless that's also the case. And the difference is that we just we're just not going to bother checking it. Uh, yeah, and that that should be satisfactory. All right, so two bugs. Uh, Lumbax, hey, welcome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. Uh, all right, there we go. So the script is up and running. That's good. I honestly won't be surprised if there are a few like odd occurrences uh, today. Um, so yeah, <laughs> look out for that, <laughs> or keep an eye out for uh, for just weird things that might happen. Um, I should I should uh, go through and check a bunch of uh, commands and stuff to make sure that the well. So yeah, so I can I can test things like. Uh, Let's say go to uh, snow. Let's go to the snowy environment. Uh, so that, for example, did that just crash the game? Because that just crashed the game. That oh, it stopped. No, it didn't. Whoa. What the heck just happened there? Because I don't think that crashed the game. I think it just. Uh... What on earth just happened there? It stopped. Um. It stopped rendering the graphics for a little while. I think is what happened. Like I bet the rest of the script was running, but like the way I've ordered it now, like there are situations where, like I put the animation system as part of the schedule system, and I think what happened is that the an the next frame of animation got scheduled for like n not soon enough. Like it got scheduled for like too far in the future. But I don't. I don't know offhand why that would happen. Um, let's let's investigate further. So let's go to uh, let's try it again. Let's go to cave. Uh, execute. All right. Well, that one worked. So was it just was it just taking a while to load in the data? Was like was did it? I mean, for whatever the reason, like it shouldn't be. It shouldn't take that long for the graphics to update. Um, uh, hey, oh yeah, so Lumpex, we're, uh, we made a bunch of, of very fundamental and structural changes to the script yesterday, and so now we're seeing what what on earth happens <laughs> with all of that. Um, so let's try just going to a river. It might have been that that was just a really long load time for some reason. Because, like, the rest of them are working really quickly now. Like, we're, the, rest, the teleport commands are, um, are now, uh, they seem to be working fine. What, what haven't we gone to yet? Mountains? Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems to be okay now. I'll um, I'll keep an eye out for that. It could just be that it got blocked on a really slow load time for whatever reason. Like I noticed, my computer has been like um, doing this thing lately where it just like thinks for a moment, and I don't know what causes it, and I don't know what it's doing when it's just thinking. But it, uh, I, I don't know. I think it's probably something I'll have to look into. Um, but that seems to be working okay enough for now. Uh, actually, I won't get rid of it yet, because um, <laughs> I should test out some more things. So uh, let's try a bonus. Some uh, adventures are going to get a lot of experience from this because of what happened with the bonus system yesterday. But um, bonus, uh, so bonus, um, so like uh, some adventures uh, 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 bravely explore uh a <laughs> unstable new uh, terrain uh, and uh, come through unscathed. <laughs> uh, execute. Bonus. 
Ah, uh, bloop. Whoa! <laughs> that was 158 experience. <laughs> uh, <laughs> spasm. Or sorry, um, but yes, a few people just gained a lot of experience. <laughs> uh, so that's fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Joe Kinley, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, <laughs> So, did a bunch of people just leveled up, I'm assuming. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I leveled up, yeah. <laughs> Great. I should roll back my level. I'm getting, like, too high in level. Uh, <laughs> I'll worry about that later, though. Um, Alright, so what else? Uh, Alright, so that seemed to work okay. Oh, I wasn't watching the screen. Did anything, like, weird happen? Uh <laughs> Did anything weird happen when I issued that command? Did you guys notice anything strange with like the, uh, with like the the text or anything? I, or like the uh, the visuals? I uh, I should pay closer attention to that. Um, all right. Uh, so what other commands should I test out? I mean, there are some commands that I can test later, like the commands that I never actually use. Oh uh, well, wait a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the the commands that that use those init or what functions or whatever. It was just a. Uh, I mean, those are the important ones. The, I guess the other important one is to a to init the event. So I should I should try a I try making a a, a new event, for example. Um, so uh, oh yeah, where did we? I didn't play I didn't play side quest at all yesterday. Uh, let's uh, let's do that a little bit, maybe. I don't know. It's related to what I want to do today, which is uh, all related to the event system. So oh, yeah, so last. Uh, Whoa, did the game just freeze again? Shoot. Alright, so it's, it definitely seems to... Uh, it definitely seems to... be susceptible to... like, when my computer is, like, doing stuff. I don't... like, I don't know any specific reason why it should be, like, more susceptible to, like, if my computer, like, tries to process something else. Because it's, like... There's nothing about the, with the changes that we made yesterday that, like, introduce any... Anything along those lines, basically just, uh, like, it doesn't change the order in which we do things, like, hypothetically, it only changes, like, how we check what to do at any given time. Hmm. I mean, if anything, it should be running faster. Like, it should be, like, if I kicked it into turbo speed, like, if I dropped the, uh, if I dropped the, uh, the anim cooldown, like, way down, like, it should, it should actually render a lot faster now. Hypothetically. Um... Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you, Joe. Yeah, I, I keep tweaking the numbers every day. So, um, <laughs> when I, yeah, when I was looking at the video yesterday, I was like, oh, look, the words are almost lined up with my face. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, thank you for noticing. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, the last thing that was happening in SideQuest is, uh, like, there, so there were goblins, uh, and we ran up to them, or some of us ran up to the goblins, and uh, the goblins like threw some like weird objects at our feet. Uh, we chose to get clear of them. Um, <laughs> the uh, so the uh, the uh, the uh, so what like the <laughs> the goblins toys. Uh, uh, I'm not just saying this. I'm I'm typing it out as well, which is why I'm speaking slowly. Uh, the goblins, uh, toys, uh, or the, the fog from the goblins toys, uh, goblins, uh, toys, uh, 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 slowed, uh, uh, your, uh, movement, uh, uh, or the fog from the goblins toys, uh, clung, uh, to your, uh, heels, uh, slowing, uh, your movement, uh, oh yeah, well, so what's the next event? I guess, uh, the next event is, um, uh, do you, uh, 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 do you, I don't know, do you, um, do you, uh, try, uh, to, uh, uh, oh yeah, you know one thing that I, <laughs> sorry, my train of thought, 
Um, my train of thought is my train. <laughs> My train of thought tends to be a bit multi-threaded. Um, do you guys... Uh, what was I going to ask? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I was even going to ask something. I was going to I was gonna say, one of the other things that I haven't tested with this is, uh, is like, the... I shouldn't be testing, like, multiple things at the same time. I should probably, like, keep my variables, like, relatively isolated. Um, so, yeah, whatever. I'll just... I'll test this quest real quick. So, uh, do you try to uh, 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 take... Uh, uh, what is the question here? Uh, so there's goblin toys. They're clearly something. And then, uh, uh, do you so uh, do you, uh, try to uh, take uh, one or uh, uh, or uh, continue? Uh, uh, continue, uh, fleeing. Uh, sure, yeah, how about that? Uh, how does that break up? Good, it all fits. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey, and look, it looks like the event system is at least somewhat working. So, alright, that's, that's wonderful news. Uh, Corb, hello, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, hello, how's it going? Uh, Corb, welcome. <laughs> um, okay, uh, yeah, 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 okay, so the... The other thing that I want to try with the event system at some point is this uh, is the write-in option, which I've never done before. I kind of like I put that feature in a long time ago, and I've never, I might have literally never used it. No, I think I tested it <laughs> back when I first put it in, but um, I uh, I don't know uh, I don't know what um. I'm trying to think like if anything's changed that about the game that I might have forgotten to support, for example. I think it's uh I think it's uh, uh <laughs> I think it's uh um probably fine. I don't think anything like I don't know, I probably shouldn't guess. I should probably just try it and see like what happens, but uh it's, yeah, no, it, 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 it could, like, nothing comes to mind when I, in terms of, like, th systems that have added since that wouldn't interact well with it, but then, like, if something goes wrong, it's be it's going to be because of the systems that didn't come to mind. It's not, <laughs> it's because I've literally overlooked something, so, uh, I guess that, yeah. Uh, that could be fun to test. Uh, what is, oh, but in terms of, like, what I was planning on working on today, like, with, with the, so with the event system working and with those other commands working... I, I'm, like, fairly satisfied that, like, the script is probably working in some regard now. I'm actually going to... I'm going to leave... Um, I was going to say I'd leave OBS on screen, but actually it doesn't really... I'm going to move it over here and leave it on screen <laughs> just for a minute. So that way, if, like, something goes weird with the graphics, I'll at least have it a little bit on screen so I can see uh, some of what's going on there. Um, but, uh, yeah, some of the stuff that I want to work today... Actually, some of the stuff that I want to work on today is not necessarily in script. It's... Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, I, um, I might actually go to the web for just a moment because, uh, I, I kind of want to do the quest, quest creator template just to get that up and running. Uh, and I think I know how to go about doing it. I think, um, like I tested some stuff with, uh, how like Google forms work. Uh, and so I think I know how to actually set this up now. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, so, all right, so, so what I have so far is basically this form wherein, uh, there's, like, some questions that ask basically, like, you know, what type of event would you, so, th yeah, this is the form to, well, like it says, submit an event for side quest, so, uh, it's part, it's partly done, um, the form from here, I guess just needs to be, uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, one thing I'm not one thing I'm not hundred percent about is uh, the uh, the number of the number of possible actions. I I uh, I 
I wonder how much I can script this. <laughs> I mean, I know I literally just started using this, and so I should probably like stick to like some fairly uh, straightforward functions with it. But like, it'd just be really convenient if, for example, I could add some like variability to the way the form presents itself. Um, so I'm just gonna, I, I, I'll try not to go too far down that rabbit hole, but I'm just gonna check out like so Google uh, form uh, script. Let's see what that comes up with. Uh, Google app script. Wait, what is this about? Uh, form, wait. Oh, to create access and modify Google forms. Huh. I don't know if that's exactly what I want to do per se. Cause I want, I kind of want, no, I, yeah, no, I don't think that's quite right. Um, I, I mean, I, I might come back to it in case it is, but no, like I don't necessarily want to, uh, wait, is that what it is? I, Cause I don't want to like use a script to like create forms. What I want is a, uh, is basically a form that like, that like adjusts itself based on, yeah, nah, I doubt this is right, but yeah, no, that, that doesn't seem right. Um, mm -hmm. Send Google Docs sheets and forms with app scripts. Maybe uh, app scripts. Uh, app scripts in sheets. This isn't very much information. Uh, doop -doop. Uh, I'll just jump right into the <laughs> to the stuff for like advanced, whatever. Um, see if any of it makes sense, and then probably run screaming when none of it makes sense. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, managing responses for Google Forms. That sounds possibly related to what I'm trying to do. Uh, oh, uh, that doesn't, well, the examples that they talk about, does, that doesn't really sound like what I'm trying to do, but um, I don't know. Let's see. Complete the steps described in the rest of this page, and in about five minutes, you'll have automatically created a Google form based on a spreadsheet, then set it to email Google account. No, none of that's interesting. None of that interests me. <laughs> um, hmm. When does it, where's, yeah, so what about the part where it emails Google Calendar invites to everyone who responds? That, that's the closest thing to like, as far as like things that, that like, that imply like any sort of like script within the form itself, like that, that is the thing that like seem, would seem to indicate that the most. Oh, on form submit, mm. nah. Nah, this just doesn't seem to be it. So maybe maybe it's that this level of customization doesn't really exist. Um, and if that's the case, that's like there are worse things. I just uh, it would just be easier if there if uh, if it did exist. Um, I yeah. All right. So the interesting thing about how this form like is supposed to be set up is that uh, on the second page of the form. Uh, or like, you know, at some point, so there's the, there's the main, there's the main event text, right? Um, so here, actually, here, let's look at the form, or like how the form will actually look. Um, so there's the main event text and like, this is, uh, this is like the main event text, I guess. Oh, I can, that, that event is still running. I can uh, conclude that event. Uh, survey says, did the event not end? Did it not click it? Conclude event. Hey, that might be a bug. <laughs> um, conclude event. I'm, I swear I'm clicking conclude event right now. I can show you. It's just not concluding. So, that's fun. I didn't... Alright, clearly, <laughs> clearly I messed something up with that. Alright, so I'm glad, I'm glad I, I, I did some amount of testing on this, because clearly, uh, that's... <laughs> Uh, all right, so that happens. Uh, so by clicking that button, it it, uh, it evaluates this set of code, this am this amount of code right here, right? Uh, conclude event equals true. So is it not so, so? What is it doing? I wonder. Is it not setting conclude event equal? Oh wait wait wait. 
Wait a second. No, it did. It did conclude the event. Look, it says so right here. Because these are the people who participated in the event. Oh, there it goes. Oh, weird. Wait, so it did conclude the event. It just did it like... Years later. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's weird. That is weird. But the game continued to like to animate and stuff. Like, there wasn't... Whoa. Alright. <laughs> um, that seemed, that would seem to be, that would seem to indicate, like, a failure of scheduling. Uh, I don't know how, though. Because this is, this is, like, the one thing that doesn't actually use the scheduling system. Like, this should be instantaneous. Uh, conclude event. Like, um, because the, the way this, the place that where this, uh, comes into... Uh, effect is the one play the one thing that I didn't actually move into the new scheduling system. So that's creepy. <laughs> I almost would have rather it just never work than to uh, than to. Oh well, okay. I guess since it did work, this is an opportunity to test out more of the scripts. Um, so. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try another command. This this one I th I think I've never tried before, so uh, I'm gonna I don't even remember how it works. Yikes. Uh, get, um, so it's the give command, and it uh, here I'll just do this on screen because who knows what the heck is gonna happen. <laughs> uh, so it was nice give or nice take, right? So the give command is uh, uh, you uh, uh, or uh, the adventures. Uh, I should actually reacquaint myself with how this <laughs> works because I, I really don't uh, recall. I think um, I think it's fairly straightforward. Uh, I'm pretty sure I set this up to be as simple as just uh, like I don't think there's any special aspects to this command. It's just give, yeah. It's just just give text, com text five, yeah. Uh, yeah. Behold. <laughs> um uh so some adventures uh some adventures uh uh take uh or uh uh take a a few uh in uh inactive uh uh uh, goblin toys, uh, 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 with them as, uh, they, uh, run to, uh, safety, or, uh, or as they, as they, uh, uh, get, as they say, <laughs> whatever, I don't know, I really shouldn't pick my words so carefully here, there's a situation where, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I zoned out in chat for a second. Uh, <laughs> you know what's funny, Bengalixi is. I was just thinking about that too. No, I'm joking. I don't. <laughs> That's bizarre, and I have no clue what's happening. But thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, uh. <laughs> Also, I learned a new word today. Whatever that word means, I learned that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, uh, take a few inactive goblin toys with them as they escape. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, execute. Is that gonna work? Yay, yeah, behold, some adventurers take a few inactive goblin toys with them as they escape. So that probably worked, uh, and I can, t which seemed to work, at least, <laughs> I can test whether that worked, uh, by checking, uh, so that was a fact, uh, I mean, that was, like, part of the fact system, is what that was, that we just, with that command, the give command, uh, hypothetically, it set up some data now for, um, for facts, binary, uh, goblin toys, so, yeah, uh, 
Oh yeah, so this the file looks weird because it line breaks. This one breaks on on slash characters. So, uh, Mr. David Dot and Core uh, scooped up some goblin toys, and so the the file now keeps track of the fact that Mr. David Dot and Core now have goblin toys. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what that does, and apparently it works. Um, oh yeah, the, I guess there is technically another command that it could be that I could be testing. I'll try and. Remember to test that one at some point. Oh, although yeah, no, I'm still in the. Pro I still don't. I just. I still have no uh, explanation for why. Um, why that event took so long to conclude. I guess. Uh, until. Uh, uh, sorry, just. Uh, I just. I just added new prints yesterday. I was just making sure that everything seems to be in order here. There's something weird that happened in this case yesterday, but it doesn't seem to be happening now, so I don't think I have to worry about that. I have, uh, I'll just worry about the, uh, the, the conclude event button taking, like, that was literally at least, like, at least, like, ten seconds that I was paying attention for the event to conclude, and then I have no clue how long it actually took. Um, alright, uh, uh, <laughs> um, Alright, uh, <laughs> the, um, alright, so yeah, so it was, the, it was the conclude event, uh, whatever, conclude event was, like, what should have been happening, uh, but apparently wasn't. Is there, I mean, we didn't change anything here, so it should still have, it should still have, uh, Wait, did I change any of these conditionals? If prev create time is less than time dot time, no, I didn't. I didn't change any of that, so that should be the same. Uh, <laughs> I cannot confirm nor deny whether I'm making Half Life Three right now. Um, I was totally making it yesterday, and I'm definitely working on it again tomorrow. But I'm not sure if I'm working on it today. No. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> so the uh, yeah the create time just uh, just that's just in that uh, that's only there to prevent me from accidentally like hitting the button twice, um, like if I if I mean to click it once and I accidentally click it twice it just filters out the second input because it could mess things up if it didn't uh, like things could get messed up if if I didn't filter out that those accidental clicks uh, and. Uh, yeah, conclude event. Why, why not work? Why not just work instead? Um, was it somehow getting set to false? I don't imagine it would. Wait, where? What are we doing here? Where is it? Where else is it getting set to true? Uh, we set it true when we manually end the event, and the other case should be like when the GM. This should be like for the GM command. Yeah, the suffix command. Suffix event type command. Yeah, right. So that's the other. So that's the other condition, and then we just check. And we didn't change this conditional, at least not intentionally. Like, didn't I did look at it yesterday? I hope I didn't like typo something. But I mean, it's pretty simple. It's just or conclude event. So in the case that conclude event is true, like, it seems like it should be pretty straightforward as to. Uh, <laughs> it seems pretty straightforward as to. Uh, um, yes, uh, core. That is what that is what ninety nine percent means. Um, like Protospasm says, the percentage that you see is uh, is how close you are leveling up. So yeah, the first number you see is how much experience you have in this level, and then the next number you see is uh, how close that brings you to uh, your next level. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, um. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I. So kind of like with the teleport thing, I might just wait to get more data on what is happening there. Um, hopefully it'll become more clear. I'll be interested to see how this event concludes. Although actually, if there's a delay in concluding this event, I wouldn't really know it. Um, I don't necessarily anticipate there will be. I just honestly can't imagine a situation where it acts like this script can... No, I mean... It seemed to demonstrate the exact scenario that I can't really comprehend, which is this, where the script continued to run unhindered, 
and it just waited. It just waited. It took its sweet time to conclude that event. Um, so, yeah, hopefully that will become more clear. It doesn't technically block what um, what I was going to be working on. So right now, so I'm, I might just uh, I might just focus on that for now. Uh, yeah, there are a few ways that I could set up this form. Um, I might uh, I'm trying to think of what's the what's the best way to to do so. I I can't think of a good way necessarily. So I might just have to use uh No, like if I could script this, this would be a lot easier because basically the way this uh oh I, I just deleted the other things. Wait, is it is it maybe I can look at it in the trash. Um yeah, so the no, is it this is gonna be empty. Uh, empty. Oh no, there it is. Uh, no, wait, no. Where is it? Uh, yeah. So that we um. So like when you set up a form, uh, the the format of the responses that you get um. They have like the timestamp. They have like the results that come through. Uh, wait, right, no, go away. Stop. Good. Just make this message go away. Stop. Stop. All right. Well, this message is being stupid, but um. If you can kind of see in this foggy section behind the stupid message, uh. There's the timestamp, the, and then, uh, so yeah, so in this particular form, there was a first page, and it had one question, and so this, uh, what we're seeing here, this option two thing, that is the response to the first question. With this form, this form was very simple, I was just testing to see, like, what the, form, what the results would be after, um, after, you know, having, like, a multi-page, like, branching form set up, so, um, the second page, uh, so this, this column C represents, uh, an empty page, or like, it wasn't an empty page, but it was one question on page that for this particular survey, we skipped that page be because the the respondent had chosen option two and option two skipped to the last page. So, I mean, the way I could set up this um, this uh, event template, whatever, like these, these items down here could just send you to a different form. But like a lot of the questions on these uh, separate forms are going to be very similar. They're just very subtle differences. So like it'd be, it'd be way easier if I could just uh, if I could just like edit the page based on the player's choice uh, and just present the page in slightly different ma uh, manner based on which they chose. But um, I don't know if that's going to happen. So I'll just I'll probably just uh, I'll probably just uh, do it the kind of weird way wherein like. Uh, the, the end result will be, like, really long, and, like, there'll just be, like, tons of blank columns for... There's just there's just always going to be tons of blank columns. Because you only ever fill out, like, two pages, whereas, uh, like, seven pages will actually exist. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> um, Alright, so... I mean, the other thing I could do is just... I mean, or one other thing I can do is, if I felt like it, I could just change the, uh, the way this form, um, is set up, uh, I could, I can make it so that, um, more of the, so I can, I can, I can move this, uh, I can move this question forwards so that more of the, uh, yeah, actually, I might move this question up because, uh, This question, like, when I'm writing events, like, this is actually the first question that I answer myself. Um, like, before I write the text, I, I think to myself, like, yeah, what is going to be the, like, how, how is it, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should, so maybe I should arrange it that way instead. I'll, um, I'll, uh, yeah, this, this, this shouldn't take, like, I'll, I'll basically reuse, like, all the stuff that I've done so far. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but, <laughs> so it. Um, I'll, uh, all right, I'm going to create a new form, I think, and the new form is basically going to be like that, that first question, uh, or that, that question about, um, about the event types, uh, it should be, um, uh, how does the outcome, how should the outcomes get decided, uh, yeah, or, so it'll be, it'll, I'll, I'll phrase it slightly differently, the, this time the question will be, uh, 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 what, uh, sort of event, uh, would you, uh, uh, or should this be, what, uh, so what sort of event will this be, uh, 
and uh, um, uh, doop I don't really need any help text. Uh, so yeah, multiple choice. I'll just use the the options that I had here. Uh, I don't want to put the actually. I don't actually. I mean, the order that I put these in the first time like corresponds to. Uh, the order of the event types, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but I think I'm going to put them in a different order. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put them in almost the reverse order. Uh, I'm going to reverse the category order, because there's, cer there's certain like behaviors I guess I'd, I'd like to encourage, and I'm going to assume that by putting them higher on the <laughs> list. Like, like balance, uh, balance type uh, events are like they're not necessarily the hardest, but like they're, there's, there's a certain curiosity. Actually, maybe I should put them lower on the list, uh, cause they're harder to write or they're not harder, but like they take a little, yeah, I'll make these options, uh, three and four, uh, and, uh, and then, uh, so, yeah, the, so I'm changing kind of, like, the the way the, the form is going to be set up a little bit based on, like, how, you know, so it's, it's, I'm going to change, like, the order in, of these questions uh, because the outcome will be that, or, like, the new form will put a lot more of the, it'll basically put everything on the same page. So if you, like, hypothetically, if you're, like, if you need to edit things, like, you don't have to flip between pages, I think that'll be one advantage. And then the other advantage, I think, will be that you actually don't have to fill out the first page if you... I, I think the way I can set it up is that you can actually just link to any of the the six uh, s other pages and uh, like the first page basically is just to serve as like a branch like you know which of these do you want to uh, which of these paths would you like to go down uh, yeah uh, alright so then the last two are, are random uh doop -doop. uh uh, uh, uh ch -ch 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 uh, oh yeah, so actually I should put in help text, which, uh, should be, so the, uh, the event, uh, so actually I'll, I'll say what type of event, because I usually tend to refer to these as event types, not event sorts. <laughs> the event, uh, type, uh, determines, uh, how outcomes, uh, are calculated, uh, 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 doop -a -doop. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> well, you should play side quest, Joe, if you're bored. <laughs> it's <laughs> bored while watching the stream? If only there were some game you could play! <laughs> uh, <laughs> while that's all going on. It's almost as if someone put it there on purpose. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the the event type uh, the event type determines how uh, how outcomes uh, are calculated. Sounds too weird. I'll say decided. Uh, uh, <laughs> cool. Thanks, Joe. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, this is a required question. <laughs> this is kind of an important question. Um, oh wait, although if I make this question required, I wonder if that's gonna mess up the what I was just saying about like being able to uh, being able to answer the questions independently, or being able to fill out the individual form sheets independently. I guess like it doesn't really matter. Like if the if the second thing like the filling out the form sheets independently like. Uh, if that doesn't work, I don't care. Because, like, this one's really easy. Like, this this first page is really easy to get through. And honestly, I don't even know how the data would come out uh, otherwise. So, uh, so uh, what type of event uh, uh, would you uh, like to make? Um, I mean, if and if it turns out that, like, this, uh, this first page is, like... Uh, 
super mandatory and I can't do the other sub pages individually, I might move more questions like the um the like the what is your name on Twitch question and like well no, basically just that one. I might move that one to the front page, uh, because that one has less to do with the the quest text and more to do with uh Oh, it would be helpful to have that on the the front page, but so maybe I should just assume that um that the first page of the form is mandatory. Uh, hmm, well, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, so, actually, I can close this. Actually, no, I'll keep that for now, because that one has a... Uh, so, like, yeah, so one of the things that I set up on this form is uh, the validation for for Twitch. Uh, yeah, the advanced settings. Uh, so I'll just want to... I'll want to copy that over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did I, did I do data validation here, too? No, I didn't. I could, though, hypothetically. Uh, I actually could do that. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that later. Um, all right, so I'll keep this open. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just start adding in pages, I guess. Add a... Uh, Page break, I guess. All right, so this is a, so this will be vote. Uh, 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 yeah, I should. I'm gonna add in all the pages. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened to my other one? Wait, what just happened? Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, oh, yeah, the way this dialog pops up, it makes it look like it's, this is like, this is all one unit, but like, it's actually giving me a dialog about the new page that I would be creating, I don't know, I don't know if I, this layout, I, I guess I'm still getting used to it. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, so vote, uh, vote X, uh, this is just, this, so this will just represent the, the, the different event types. Uh, I'm just going to stub these in, uh, so, uh, balance, balance X, uh, uh, doop -doop. uh, balance, balance X. And that's because, uh, this, these are the forms that the, uh, oh yeah, I have to change this too, because these ones don't continue to next page. On this form, uh, these ones all, um, oh wait, do I have to split the X's? Or can the, can, for balance and balance X, that, I, I actually might be able to use the same form for that? No. Actually, for random, wait, hold on. For vote and vote X, no, it doesn't work the same because with vote X, wait, actually let me look into this. I forget. Do like do vote X type events, which are event type three. Do event type events of type three? Do they have a neutral outcome? Uh, oops, wrong folder. Uh, events. Uh, so what's event type three? Event type three is like uh, the um, storm. The rainstorm. No, there's no there's no neutral outcome. Whereas for event type two, there's definitely there's certainly a neutral outcome. Event type two would be like kitty tree. Uh, oh wait, kitty tree is event type three. Wait, what? Kid wait, kitty tree is event type three. Wait, what's happening with my brain right now? Uh. Event type zero one two three, kitty tree is event type three. No, it should be event type two. Why is it event type three? Is that seems wrong? Uh, <laughs> uh Boulder is event type two. Boulder is event type three. Wait, what is wrong with my brain that I can't come up with the correct event types? Wait, what does Rainstorm say it was? Rainstorm said it was event type 3, right? Whoa. That's not right. Hold on. <laughs> Are they all messed up? Arson is event type 4, yeah. Betrayal, event type 0. Boulder, event type 2. It should be event type 2, not 3. I'm just going to change it, because I'm, like... I mean, I haven't edited these things in a while, so I don't know why it would be wrong. But I can... 
I can be fairly confident that it is wrong. Yeah, Cricket Race is zero. Curse is four. Doomsday is two. Yes, that's correct. Uh, Dragon Hall is three. That's correct. Farmstead, why were those events type the wrong number? That's really weird. Farmstead is five. Festival is three. Yes, that's true. That is a true story. G Ghosts is two. King Day is one. Yes. Uh, Kitty Tree is two, not three. Huh. And yeah, so for example, um, events type three don't have the neutral uh, outcome. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I, d I had noticed, or I had never noticed the neutral outcome, so I guess that explains it. That, that's why that <laughs> that's why that wasn't happening. Well, how did that how did that get that way though? I have no clue. Oh yeah, Me Meadow and, Me and Mirror Universe are non-starters. I remember. Wait, Mirror Universe is type four. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Ogre Cave type zero. Yeah. Uh, pirate ship type four. Yes. Uh, rain rescue type five. Yes. Rainstorm type three. Yes, that is true. That is the that is the one that is actually supposed to be three. Riot type one. Yep. And treasure type five. Yes. Okay. So I don't. I have no clue how that happened. There was one time that I converted all the numbers, but I guess I just converted the numbers wrong. Maybe. Like I, I honestly can't think of another explanation of how I came up with that, or how that would have happened. Um. All right. Uh. So. Right. Okay. So the <laughs> the result of that is I can't. I can't use these. Uh, I can't use the same form for vote and vote X. I need separate forms because the because the, the outcomes are different and they have to be handled differently. All right. So uh, done. Uh, add item. Uh, random X. Uh, uh, doop -doop. And then uh, ugh, these forms will be very similar, which is a little silly. Is there? I wonder if there's an easier way to like copy and paste these things. Um, oh, duplicate. Oh, okay. So actually, maybe I should make. I should probably. Uh, all right. Well, I just set up like all these other ones, but I'm actually gonna set up the first one and then duplicate it like a ton of times because that's that's gonna be a lot easier. So much of uh, so much of what happens on these pages are all the same. Should I just move? Uh, I should probably just move the the question of like what's your name. I should probably just move it up to the first page and abandon the idea of having the pages separately like doable or whatever. Because uh, it's weird to put it on the... It's weird to put it on this other page. Well, I'll put it on this other page just in case I change my mind because it'll be easier to take it off this other page than to put it on this other page because to take it off, I just have to hit the... Uh... Oh, wait, actually. Oh, wait, does the duplicate button duplicate questions or pages? No, it duplicates pages, yeah. Uh... All right. Well, um, uh, hey, Nefram, how's it going? Welcome. Uh, <laughs> uh, huh. Um, yeah. No, this is fine. All right. Yeah, this isn't exactly how I pictured setting it up, but whatever. You work with what you get, right? Uh, so add item. Uh, uh. What is or no? Wait, sorry, not add item. Add uh, add like question or whatever. No, go away, go away. Uh, what? <laughs> it just deleted my vote page. Why? Uh, all right. <laughs> how, how do I add a question? I don't want to add a, an item. I want to add a question. Or is that? Oh wait, no. It's through the uh, it's just through the same thing. Um. Wait, so what, okay, so text uh. Tech paragraph, not yeah, text text option, right? So the first thing, the first question is, uh, I can close these script pages because they're not helping. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, oh no, <laughs> I must have a lot of exams, so I uh, I know how that goes. <laughs> um, I know roughly how that goes, it, uh, which is to say, I understand that it is not an enjoyable experience, so. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, my sympathies, uh, go out to you, uh, in this, in these times, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but, no, I, um, yeah, 
<laughs> freaking uh freaking exams huh um all right so the so the data validation that i'm going to use here is reg regex and uh it has to contain the pattern or no it has to it has to be the pattern right it has to match the pattern uh that's how i set it up before yeah it matches the pattern so this is basically just to make sure that you don't accidentally typo the uh Type of your Twitch name by adding in like an invalid character or something. I mean, you can still. <laughs> hey, Misama, how's it going? You can still. Um, you can still. Uh, <laughs> um, you can still typo it, but like, I don't know. It's, it'll catch a few. It'll catch a few errors. Um, oh, and I did have a custom error uh, message <laughs> for this. My super slick. I think. I think <laughs> What is it? I think Twitch only allows letters, numbers, and underscores. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so that's the first question. And then, um, yeah, so kind of like before, uh, the next question is the main event text, right? Yeah, okay, so uh, so uh, let's add a, um, add a paragraph text. Uh, so uh, main uh, event uh, text. Uh, oops, uh, main event text, uh, and then I'm still getting used to uh, the the moving while uh, while while typing thing. I, I I was pretty good at it at one point, and I'm you know I can still do it. I just uh, uh, gotta get back in the habit, or get gotta get get um, get back in practice. Uh, all right, so uh, oh yeah, did I make this a required question? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I'll, I'll f I have to come back to this and, and finish setting it up, uh, later. Oh, I had a, um, I had a, uh, yeah, I did a description on this page as I had set it up previously. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so main event text, uh, yeah, so uh, multi. So let's add a checkbox. Singular checkbox, uh, multi. Uh, ooh, doop -a -doop. And I had explanation text for that. So the yeah, the text is just called multi. Text of the event is just multi. The explanation text is fairly explanatory, as I recall. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so... Uh, Save that. Yeah, so the next part is weird. The, the next part is the part where it gets weird, because, like, I have to pull the player to... Or I have to pull the respondent for the... Uh, for their... Um, for their answers to... Essentially, like, the outcomes of the events. And that's where it's different for each event, too. So, the, so the other weird thing is... Uh, is uh yeah no you know what I should put in I should put in a uh, validation for the the main event text because I I don't have a good way like this is the this is like my only access to scripting right is like putting in regular expression to uh uh To, to make sure that, like, the, the data is well formatted. <laughs> so, if I don't do this, then, like, it could go completely off the rails. Um, uh, <laughs> I would totally rock that protospasm if they made a, uh, if they made, like, a, uh, <laughs> I mean, heck, if, if, I, if I had, a if I had, like, one of those, like, things that I could, uh, uh, <laughs> carry my laptop around. I wouldn't be stuck here. I could go, I could go adventuring while, <laughs> while, uh, while, uh, while working on game dev. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> the, uh, so yeah, what is the regex here? It's, um, I mean, it's kind of like the regex that we use, uh, or the regex. Yeah. <laughs> the regular expression. It's kind of like what we use in the script, except um, except we have to modify it a little bit. Uh, it can be it can be what it can basically be like anything followed by it can be like basically anything followed by an action tag followed by basically anything fo including nothing. Like the the anything's can also be nothings. 
So basically anything followed by basically anything including nothing followed by an action tag followed by basically anything including nothing uh, followed by an action tag followed by basically anything including nothing. I mean, this is where it'd be really helpful to have like scripting going on because like we only need um we only need two possible we only need two action tags but there's like there's no strict limit on how many action tags you can add in i might excuse me i might personally limit i might personally impose a limit of like uh like five or six action tags because like i might even just put the upper limit at four like i, I honestly like even with four different action tags it's like it's kind of pushing it like in the for, I can't think of a situation where you'd actually want that many. Like, more than four. Like, the only event that actually uses four action tags right now is betting on crickets. And that's because I was just like, I don't know, whatever. I'll just put, it, I'll just put a bunch in there. <laughs> just action tags all over the place. Whatever. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh... You know what? You know what else is just occurring to me right now is that a, a new thing. I need to balance uh, balance uh, experience by um, event uh, type and event type and what else? Uh, number of uh, number of action tags because it varies wildly too. Like if I. Uh, um, oh yeah. So the one. So the nice thing about how the action tags show up on screen. You only actually get three action tags on screen at any given time, uh, and then they cycle. They like alternate. So like it first it shows the first three, and then the first one gets replaced with the fourth one, and then the second one gets replaced with the first one, and the third one gets replaced with the second one, and then it just keeps on like. So I, I can like technically accommodate it. I just um, well so the reason I'm I'm thinking of adding in balancing experience by event type and number of actions is because event type five with tons of actions gets like gratuitously easy event type one or zero or no excuse me uh event types two or zero with tons of actions get insanely difficult and like nearly impossible so i think i need to scale that i don't even know how i'd do that though i don't know if that's possible and so because that's kind of like an unknown quantity I should, yeah, no, I should definitely impose, like, a relatively low upper limit. I think four is enough to work with. I feel like four is fine. Uh, all right, uh, so I will, I will add this into the backlog, because it's worth investigating. I feel like I might have looked into it before. Uh, and maybe I came up with the solution that it, or I came up with the response, the, the conclusion that it's not really a solution, but I don't know. Could be worth trying again. All right, so the main event text, uh, this is the text at the start of the event, blah, blah, blah. Uh, for the subtext of the page, uh, or for the, um, oops, for the, oops, I apparently can't select that text. Uh, <laughs> for the uh, description, for the page description, uh, I was going to just repeat this text here, but no, I should probably, I should come up with different text instead. Uh, okay, um. Yeah, so what is this regex? I think that was the last thing I was looking at. What is the regex to validate uh, to validate this text here? Um, yeah, how do I say any text? I guess, uh, I guess, uh, let me see. Um, like, is there, what is the regex for, like, any character? Like, any character at all? Um, uh, regular expression, reg... You <laughs> expression. Uh, I'll just look it up in the Python docs because <laughs> no, uh, yeah, whatever. I know where to look in the Python docs to find this information. So while this is not necessarily pertinent to um, to Python per se, uh, at least uh, at least I'm familiar with this. All right, the dot the default mode matches any character except a new line. Good, cool. All right, so dot plus. Uh, so yeah, I think it goes like, uh, I think the regex, regex goes dot plus, uh, followed by, and then I need to put it in braces, um, uh, pound sign slash W 
slash w plus uh, close pound sign dot plus or close close bra close braces uh, and then that again basically I could be wrong but I want to test this out uh, and so the custom error text is um, uh, is what uh, events uh, event text uh, must include at least actually I should, I should be specific uh, event text must include uh, 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 two to four uh, action tags uh, uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll just be like just I'll just like depict action tags uh, so must include two to four action tags uh, and the description is uh, uh, words uh, 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 which uh, begin, or words uh, preceded, uh, or words with uh, words with with pound signs uh, at the front, I guess. Uh, uh, I I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's good. Done. Uh, all right. So let me uh, let me view live form. So. Uh, Continue. Oh, oops, yeah. It's a required question. All right, continue. Uh, <laughs> so, like, if I just type that in, it's probably... Oh, it thinks that's fine? How does it think that's fine? That doesn't match the regex. Uh, what? Uh, all right, so I, I must have messed something up. Because it doesn't seem to be rejecting any of this. It's just like, yeah, no, that's all fine. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> just wave it on through. Um, huh. Uh, <laughs> uh, leave this page, yeah. Did I not, like, save it? Advanced settings. Matches. Huh. I could say instead, I could say contains, and then instead of doing like the dot plus stuff, I could, I could just cut out those. So it has to contain at least two action tags with anything in between. I wonder if that works better. Uh, view live form. Doop doop. No, it still thinks that's fine. Hey, I mean, this validation. Oh no, the validation just isn't working. Oh, well, I guess that would explain it. Oh no, that validation is actually correct. Wait, no, to get that validation to flag, I would have to introduce weird characters. And that validation is running. Right, because that's not a valid Twitch name, right? <laughs> um, I should really put the Twitch name thing on the other page, too. Because, uh... Oh, wait! Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> It's nice to see you, Amuse. Am I? Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, screen clutter with... Oh, yeah, wait, no. Okay, I, I was like... I, I forgot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what am I working on now? Yeah, the... Um, so it's a required question, of course, blah, blah, blah. And it validates when it's a required question, but for some reason it just keeps thinking that... that anything's fine for that regex that we put in, which is weird to me. Because, like, it should, um... Hmm. Uh, hey, Lee Rich, how's it going? Welcome. <laughs> uh... Hmm. I don't know what this, uh, I don't know what's up here. So I might just like, I might just not worry about it. I might just, uh, I might just, uh, not worry about the validation. But then like the awkward thing there is that, um, 
if player if a player messes it up, it might just like it might just represent invalid data. Like there might not be an easy way to 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 save it, right? Because like if you take the time to fill out the event, the whole form, and then um, and then you, like it it doesn't have all the, like the the data that needs to be there. Um, I yeah. I'll just um, maybe I'll just try to uh. I'll just try, like, try and work around that, make it so that, um, just make it so that, uh, in general, the form, like, might have some, like, redundancy to it, but at least it'll, like, necessarily contain the, the pertinent information. Yeah, I guess that's better. Um, uh, yeah. It's not actually. I guess it's not necessarily better, but it's like, I guess it's kind of like what I have to do. In some ways, uh, all right. So yeah, no, I should put this name on Twitch thing in the first page, and it should just always the first page should just always be necessary, I think. All right. So, add a uh, add a text item. Move it. Oops. Move it. How do I move this up? How do I, oh, there we go. Uh, move it up to the top. Uh, yeah. So the name on Twitch question is going to go up here instead, actually. Uh, doop -a -doop. So, your name on Twitch. Uh, uh, doop -a -doop, doop -a -doop -a -doop. Oh yeah, so the val the yeah the regex is the other thing to crib from this. Uh, so this is data validation. Regular expression matches this, uh, and then uh, the customary text was the other thing. Uh, doop -a -doop. All right. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, oh, and this is a required question. Uh, okay. That, yeah. The form just would have looked weird with that on it. Um, all right. It's going to look weird enough <laughs> without that. So, um, so question title, uh, oh, actually, um, are there like, oh, section, uh, huh. It'd be nice if I could, like, group these somehow. Um, like, on the page, like, change the layout. Oh, grid? Maybe? Grid? What is a grid? Oh, cool. Yeah. Is this one? No, wait, no. Is this what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so right, so action, actions, and outcomes. So outcomes, out column one, column one is outcomes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, so I'll get rid of this one. Uh, okay. And oh, whoa, it's like that. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Uh, per shoot. I want it to be like uh. Wait, what is this going to look like? What is this, uh... Yeah, wait, what is this, um... Oh! Oh! Okay, for a grid, I can only do checkboxes? That's... That's less exciting. I just want to, like, group these things so that it looks like there's some sense of organization to the questions, but I might have to just have that entirely implied. Like, there might be nothing in the, uh... in the form that necessarily supports that. Um... Ah, well. Alright, so, uh... Yeah. Alright, so text, uh... So, action... Uh... So... Oof. Hold on. <laughs> what are the other things I can do with this? I can add section headers. Maybe that will be satisfactory. So, section header, um... So, like, outcome... One. Or uh, neutral outcome, because the the first one, if you vote, there might be a tie or there might be a split vote, uh, and so, uh, so like what uh, happens uh, if uh, if the vote is split, uh, and and uh, and uh, none of the actions win. Uh, 
done. Uh, uh, do, do, do. So then, actually, wait, I'll move this down here. Oh, yeah, I'll change this to, uh, I guess, paragraph text, because people might want a paragraph. I really, um, oh, yeah, yeah, so this is, um, yeah, so what we're, what we're adding in here is, like, the, uh, the text that, like, for, so, for example, if we were, let's say, or oh, I'll go with, like, a vote one. Uh, so, like, this is, yeah, event type vote. So, like, the, uh, the, the kitty tree, uh, what we're setting up is, uh, so we already asked them what event type they wanted what and whether it should be multi or not. We asked them for the text of the event. Uh, I think I'm just going to gloss over fake options. I think I'm going to have a note section at the bottom of the... Uh, at the, like, I'll, I'll have, like, a note section at the bottom of the page so that player, so, like, people who know how, like, the advanced systems work can, like, specify how the advanced system should work here. I think I'm going to let that section handle, like, you, uh, that section will be for, like, if people really want to put in a fake, uh, a fake option, uh, if people want to, if people are making multiple events and they want their events to be linked using the event linking that we set up. Uh, stuff like that, I think we'll go there. Um, yeah, so the, the, the only thing that I can't, like, gloss over is these outcomes. So, yeah, so I need to, I need to, uh, prompt the, the respondent to fill out basically each of these items here. Um, and I think the way I'm going to do it, yeah, if these, well, actually, I should, yeah, I should see how these section headers, like, look, uh, because, like, that's really big text, right? Like, can I, like, make the text, like, less extreme? That would be nice. It'd just be nice to have more, uh, control over this, uh, this form in general. I don't know. Maybe there's, like, maybe there are ways that I can, oh, like, changing, maybe if I change the theme or something, then it'll, I can change how it looks or something. Uh, wait, I don't want to see this page. Uh, I want to change the theme based on this page. What the heck? I want to change the theme based on this page. Go to the top of the page. Become page one. Why will you not become page one? <laughs> you jerk. You terrible jerk. All right, well, whatever. I'll try putting in a header in here. See if... <sighs> Section header. Um, nope. Whatever. Uh... <laughs> uh... Here's is some text because I can't test it the not stupid way. Oops. Um, <laughs> uh, change theme. So, all right. Well, so for one thing, that's not so bad as it is. But oh, and changing the theme just changes like the pictures in the background. So I probably just I'll probably just leave it with the default theme, and that could be worse. Like that. That could be a lot worse. So. Yeah, I'll just, uh, whatever. Alright, um, where, yeah, so, yeah, I won't, I won't worry about changing themes. I, oh, whoops, I closed the one that I was working on. The, uh, I can close this one too, actually, because I'm, I basically cribbed from that everything that I need to. Um, so, uh, oh wait, what's the real one? This is the old one, this is the one that I don't need anymore. Yeah, this is the old one that I don't need anymore, so I'll just get rid of that one. Uh, goodbye. Alright, so submit an event for, for side quest. This is the one that I'm working on now. Uh, Alright, so <laughs> we can get rid of that. And then, uh, so neutral outcome. What happens if the out, if the vote is split and none of the actions win? Uh, so then we have uh, paragraph text. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it as that, I think. Uh, and so... So then we we view the form. It will it will look like what? It'll look like uh, oh, right. That's a required field now. Um, yeah. So neutral outcome. What happens if if the vote is split and none of the actions win? I should not use. I should not use such a big text fields. Wait. My only options though are like this tiny text field and that big text field. Again, like it's, it's it seems weird to me that you you can't control more of this stuff like. Why can't I just... I don't know. Am I really the first Google Forms user who ever wanted to, like, get a little bit more specific with how these questions are laid out? <laughs> like, I don't want to change how the questions work or anything. I just want to, uh... I just want to... I don't know. All right, whatever. <laughs> uh... This is fine, I guess. 
Um, all right, so uh, initial outcomes, what happens if the vote is split and none of the actions win? Uh, so add item, uh, add in a, wait, hold on. Not yet. Uh, add in a, a new header, a uh, new section header, um, uh, doop -doop. and then, uh, so this will be, um, so like outcome, so like action, action, uh, number one, uh, or action, action, uh, action one outcome or something. I don't know. I'll have to, uh, uh, what happens, uh, if the, uh, if the first, uh, action, uh, uh, wins, uh, doop doop. And then, uh, so action one, no, I should, <laughs> I'll just call it like action one, numeral one. I don't want to use the number sign or the pound sign because, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, cause whatever, uh, add an, an item. No, not, not stop adding headers. Why do you, <laughs> whatever, uh, what is it? Text, uh, I, oh yeah, so, oh wait, okay, wait, no, I know how to do this, uh, so, action one, outcome, um, action tag, uh, uh, yeah, so, actually, I'm gonna edit this, I'm not gonna have this subtext here, oh, and actually, yeah, I probably shouldn't have, uh, I probably shouldn't have this subtext here, I should have this subtext, uh, just so that the, the, um, just so that the formatting is consistent, uh, I should have this, like, I should have these paired together, so, uh, and also, I guess, I don't know if it'll help the formatting, but I'll put, I'll put these in as help text, not as, like, as, like, the name, or whatever, because, like, yeah, so I want to have, so I basically want to have a, 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 a single text thing, just so that the player can repeat, like, just to, to just to be very clear, like, which outcome corresponds to which action tag, and then also, like, hypothetically, since I didn't get the data validation to work on the event text, um, the player might have hypothetically forgotten to put these actions into the event text, hypothetically. Um, I mean, who knows? Uh, all right, so what happens if, uh, so what happens uh, if uh, the, uh, if if this action, uh, if this action wins, uh, yeah, what happens, uh, what happens there? Um, and then, uh, we're basically going to ask this a few times. So I'll add in, uh, section header, uh, action, because the first two are mandatory. Action one outcome and action Oh yeah, so I should make those questions mandatory. Uh, so like these, yeah, these questions, there's always going to be at least action one and action two. There might be action three and action four, but, um, <laughs> oh great, the asterisk appears on the line above it. So I guess I can't <laughs> put that text there. I have to put this text here, otherwise the asterisk appears <laughs> in a weird place. Uh, all right, whatever. Uh, so, uh, action, action two, uh, uh, head item, uh, action, no, not header. <laughs> Apparently the add item button just assumes you want to add in another of the exact same thing you just put in, which, uh, whatever. <laughs> action tag, uh, required question, uh, yes, and then, uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, I should put validation for action tags, too, because action tags can't have spaces. Action tags can only have, uh, yeah, so the data validation here has to be, um, uh, no, I should, yeah, I should just do regex. Uh, the, so the, 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 yeah, the data validation here is just like it usually is. It's uh, the pound sign. Um, well, I think I'm going to require the pound sign. Wait, how do I make the pound sign optional? 
How do I make it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, right, no, I'll just say, so pound sign uh, and W characters. Asterix. It's just going to be any combination of <laughs> pound signs and, uh, and slash W characters. Oh, and underscores. Uh, oops. Uh, it can be underscores, too. Or can it? No, I don't think there can be underscores in action tags. No, it's just Ws. W characters represent numbers and letters. No punctuation, nothing, anything like that. Uh, so, I think that should work. Uh, I mean, hypothetically, you can put a bunch of different pound signs in the, in the thing. You can put as many pound signs as you want. But, um, uh, yeah, whatever. All right, so, uh, action uh, tags uh, must be uh, one word. Uh, uh, with uh, no special characters. Uh, with no uh, punctuation. Punctuation or uh, special characters uh, included. Uh, yeah. So let me just double check that that works. Uh, so, oh yeah, right. <laughs> it's a required question. <laughs> Uh, so new sh so action tag uh, so like that should be a legit action tag that should be a legit action tag that should not be a legit action tag and yet it is I'm not enthusiastic about this regex it, see it worked fine for the twitch name and then uh, and then it just got bad <laughs> or something uh why? It's just like, it just... Has it worked on this page at all? Like, when the Twitch thing was on this page, did it work then? Or does it just never... Does it only just work on the first page? <laughs> like, I'll just, uh, I'll try using the exact same validation uh, down here. So, what if I borrow this? Oops. Because actually... Oh, yeah. I mean, this is basically... This is, like, nearly the same validation I want. Uh... For the uh, for the action tags, except without the underscore. Uh, so. Oh, con well, okay. So, that would explain why it didn't work. Hold on, wait. So here, let me give it another shot. If I had it as contains instead of matches, then that that would actually explain why it had gotten weird earlier. So wait, what? No, what are, what are you doing? View live form. Yeah. All right, there we go. Uh, whatever, good go. I should set those. I should set those uh, questions as uh, as uh, uh, not required for testing. Oh, there we go. All right. So yeah, no, that okay. So it does work. It just it didn't work because I uh, because I uh, had had it set wrong. All right. So uh, yeah, if I try and add a space character, yep. Yeah, all right. Good. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to say special punctuation. <laughs> I just meant to say no punctuation. Uh, all right, so close that. Uh, just for testing purposes, I'm going to make these questions non-required. Uh, although I really have to remember to make them required once I'm done. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so... Action, action tag, uh, what happens if the action wins? All right, so, yeah, these are both mandatory, and this regex seems to be working, so good, good then. Uh, I'll, oh, yeah, so I want to copy this, uh, oh, yeah, right, so I didn't, I didn't mean to say special punctuation, I just, <laughs> just even the not special punctuation is not allowed, uh, and then I, I basically want to just put this in for all of the action tag validations, uh, doop -doop. This is some, this is some, some top-notch uh, game dev we're doing, huh? Isn't this just the gamiest game dev you've ever seen? I, uh, I was, I was like thinking maybe I could do this off stream, and I, I, I had done a lot. I, like the when I started the form that that other time, I had done it off screen. Wait a second, what the heck? Why didn't it save my custom error text? Maybe I'm not making mistakes. Maybe this form is making mistakes. <laughs> I kind of like it when I'm not to blame for things. Although, 
not all the time, because if I'm not to blame for things, then sometimes it means that it's out of my control to fix things, which is not better, necessarily. Um, all right. <laughs> so par paragraph text, uh, what happens uh, if this action wins? Uh, 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 this is a required question, and I don't need any validation or anything. I mean, it... Yeah, I mean, the only validation we need is for this not to be blank. So, as long as we have that, then we're good to go. Uh, yeah. So. Hmm, excuse me. Um. Hmm. All right, uh. Yeah, okay, so now we can just add in, uh, a few more. Just two more, two more of these, and they're optional. So action uh, three, uh, outcome, optional, uh, uh, if your event only has uh, two actions, uh, 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 just ignore <laughs> this, uh, uh, this section. Uh, Please just ignore this section. Uh, yes. Doop a doop. All right. Uh, and then uh, so do do do. So right, yeah. So like before, we have a text option, and that is action tag. Uh, and I'll yeah. So I'll put in the same validation as before. It's not a required question, but it it does still have the same validation in terms of uh, what accepts what it what the question accepts as a um, as a valid uh, as a valid. Uh, oh yeah, and I have to make sure I'm setting this to matches, not contains. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, excuse me. Um, oh my gosh, you know what I could have done. You know what I could do? Nah, you know what? No, nah. I was going to say, I could just make this form... I could make this page repeating. And I could just... Uh, I could have it so that you enter an action tag and an outcome. And then you can either hit... Then you can either choose, like, add another or no, I'm done. And then... I guess that would have been one way to set it up. But, eh, whatever. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> um, Alright, so... I just like having all the data, all like the answers and the forms and stuff all on one page. I feel like that's more important. Or it's, it's more, it's better usability. Or like, I don't know. <laughs> it's how I'd like to fill out a form. I don't, like, I don't know. All right, no, this is fine. Okay. Uh, so outcome three, did I finish setting up the validation here? Uh, nope, I didn't put in the custom error text. Uh, done. Good. And then, so add item paragraph text, uh, what uh, happens if this action wins, question mark, and then that's all set. And then lastly, let's add in, well, not dead last, but last for this section is, let's add in another sec, oh, whoops, did I do, I did page break, didn't I? Uh, I meant to do, oh, I did page break here as well. <laughs> <laughs> whoops, uh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, no, it just... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, interesting. Oh, I can delete page breaks. And it doesn't... Okay, that's interesting. All right, so... Uh, oh, no, I just did it again. Uh, so, no, don't... Don't introduce another page break. Section header. That's what, I, that's, what I'm inter that's what I'm actually trying to put in here. So, it goes here. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so this is action uh, three outcome uh, optional. Optional. Uh, if your event uh, only has uh, two actions, uh, please uh, skip, uh, or please uh, ignore this section, or whatever. Uh, so this is like also the thing that like, I, I kind of wish I, I, I uh, <laughs> um, this is the section that I wish I could set up with script so that, like, I could literally just omit these questions, uh, if, 
like there aren't the right number of action tags and also like i don't i don't actually want players to have to retype their action tag but yeah whatever there are worse things right uh, <laughs> uh if you so if your event only has two actions please ignore this section yeah uh oh can i duplicate oh it would oh i can duplicate these individual items so that's actually slightly more convenient so like for example i can duplicate uh Huh, cool. Look at that. That's way easier. Oh, wait, that means when I duplicate the page, it's probably not going to duplicate the entire page, is it? Uh, wait, where's this going to go? What are you... Are you kidding? I can't move this to the bottom of the form. Oh, there we go. It worked that time. Alright, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, duplicate this one. Uh, cool. Move this down here. And these duplicates have, like, the correct... Uh... What the heck? Why can't it? <laughs> it seems to have issues trying to drag things to the very bottom. I don't know what that's about. Um, yeah, and so these duplicates have the correct data validation. Good. Cool. Excellent. Uh, and so, yeah, lastly, uh, duplicate this again. Uh, so action four outcome, optional, if your event only has three actions, has or has, uh, has three or fewer op options. Actions, please ignore this section. Uh, and then move this down to the bottom, and then duplicate this one, and... Oh, yeah, we, oh, 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 whoops. I accidentally set these as required questions. These are not supposed to be required questions. <laughs> these ones are supposed to be optional. Right, just like the text says, these ones are optional. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, good. And then move this down here, and then duplicate this one, and then move this one down as well. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Uh, and then there is at least a little bit of other stuff, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so add, uh, add, uh, oh, yeah. Huh. I'll, maybe, uh, you know what, I'll put, like, the additional comment section on the next page, I think. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man, I don't have an excuse for a spasm. I looked at the event, and I saw you participating, and I was like, oh, that's event type 5. He'll be fine on his own. But that's not how event type 5 works. <laughs> Sorry, I literally thought to myself, oh, I should participate. Wait, no, I don't have to. It's event type 5. He'll be fine. Ah, sorry about that. I I need to get better at my own game. Maybe because I don't play it enough. <laughs> I tend to specifically avoid playing, but... Um, no, I should, I should just play more. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, Alright. Uh, Alright, cool. Um... Yeah, I was thinking, like, I would put, uh, I'd have a section for additional comments or whatever, but, like, if I put it right at the end here, it's going to look like it's part of action four outcome. So, uh, uh, well, yeah, you know what, I'll just, I'll keep, like, this page of the form will just be for game data, and then I'll put, like, an additional comment section on the last page. Um... Cool. Excuse me. Ah. Nah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, you know, if, um, uh, I was going to say, if I have a strict upper limit of four action tags, I could just show all four. I could, like, have space for all four action tags on stream. Right? Because right now there's, uh, there's space for uh, three. Which is funny. Because, like, there's both arbitrary limits. So, like, why not just make the arbitrary limits line up closer? But, um... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> that's funny, I hadn't... <laughs> I hadn't thought about that, but yeah, the um, the text in this game is very much not written for the single-player scenario. Um, I mean, the game is meant to be played multiplayer. Like, for example, that event type, you can't actually... Well, actually, no. That specific event type, you could win single player. But some of the events, you can't even win single player. So, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, that's... <laughs> Um, I guess it must have just been a really small cupboard, is all. Um, <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, you know, it's just occurring to me. Like, if I hit this duplicate button, it's probably not going to duplicate the entire form. It's probably just going to duplicate the page break. Is what I'm thinking is going to happen. Yep, just duplicates the page break, huh? Well, that's sad. <laughs> um. So I could just dupe this a few times over now. But that's... not fun. <laughs> um. Oh, you know what I could do? Yeah, no, you know what I could do is... Uh, I don't... Uh, yeah, I won't... Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, oh, man. I don't really need, like, all of these... I don't... Oh, man. Right. What I was thinking is, like, I could just split up the form. I know I was saying, like, I would put, uh, Hey, my hero! <laughs> welcome, how's it going? <laughs> uh, welcome. Um, I'm, do I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Uh, <laughs> I was just looking at this, uh, this form, and I was thinking, like, I mean, I could actually, like, I know I said I wanted to... I wanted to do this the right way and have, like, all the information, like, show up on separate pages... Or like a. No, you know what I'll do instead. I think is I'll just get rid of the. Uh... I'm just gonna get rid. <sighs> Ugh, because to do this the right way using the tools that they're giving me, I think I have to basically. Uh... I basically have to like do it all like really tediously and manually. And I'm not enthusiastic about that. Like, I basically want to select all and then duplicate. Like, I was thinking the duplicate page option would literally create, like, another copy of the same page. Um, I'm... I don't know the... Uh, yeah, the things that I'm thinking is that I'm pretty sure, like, in Google Drive, I can copy... I can duplicate these things by just, like, you know, make a copy or whatever. Uh, so I'm, like, tempted to do that. And then... Uh, because the thing I was thinking is I could just duplicate the entire thing and then have multiple copies and, like, get rid of this, like, what event would you like to make page and just have a separate page for, like, each of the different types of events. Um, I don't know. I might just do it the slightly tedious way. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm setting up a... Uh, I'm setting up a, uh, a way to... Basically, like, user-generated content sort of thing, where, like, uh, if people want to, they can write events for the game, if, they're, if, they, if they feel like it. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know, I thought it'd be kind of fun. Um, especially because I plan on working a lot on events, and whenever I work on events, people say that they want to do this exact thing, so I figured, hey, why not let people do this exact thing, right? Um, <laughs> so, uh... Mostly just having fun with Google Forms. Uh, <laughs> fun with Google Forms. Um, all right, so I uh, yeah, hold on. Let me let me before I go through and like start working on all this stuff. Let me just look at what it looks like. This is like fine. This is like uh, I mean, it's longer than it needs to be because like. This, these all these like text boxes just t are taking up like so much space like you could really fit this in a much like uh, basically what I'm prompting them to write is like this right it's not much it's not much text and yet we have to use like a million different text boxes for it which makes it take a lot longer uh, uh, I am um, Yeah, maybe maybe before I go through all the tedium of like copying these things over a million times, I should uh I don't know. Um Oh, whoops. I just realized I Oh, I forgot to make this one mandatory. And I forgot to uh change the the way the text is set up on this one. Uh I'm not using the help text, I'm using the Question title, and this is a required question. Alright, um... Ah, 
yeah. All right. Uh, actually, wait. Let me let me look at it one more time. Uh, I guess this is fine. Huh. Excuse me. Huh. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. No. I can. Um. I can just do this. It's like it, it'll take a little. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not blown away by this. I'll be honest. I'm not. I. The like the tools that they give you for laying this, laying out this, these questions and this information and stuff. It's like. This is like not what I was picturing the end results look like. Like it looks so bottom heavy. Like this is actually the important part, right? And like this part. This is like the quick part. And yet, just because of how like they, just because of the tools they give you, like. Actually, you know, you know what I can do is, uh, uh, I'm just going to change how, uh, I'm not going to use the separator things. Hold on, let me see if I can do this. Uh, or let me see how this, this would look instead. So instead of, uh, yeah, so the reason I was using the headers is because I was pairing the action tags with the, what happens if that, this action wins, but instead I'm going to do what? I'm going to, uh. Uh, so like action uh, outcome uh, action uh, one outcome uh, help text uh, action tag uh, and uh, I wonder what this would look like or I wonder how this would look I guess I uh, probably just not very prominent I guess Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, hold on, ah, uh, no, shoot, man, you know what's really choking me up is the, just the fact that I, the, the asterisk shows up on the wrong line, if I put, um, if I put, the, if I use the help text instead of, like, I'm assuming that that's how it looks in the, in the final form too, right, it just has, like, a floating asterisk line with nothing else on it, uh, wait, where is it, it's, uh, yeah, this one here, it just has a floating asterisk, Oh man, <clears throat> so that's uh, that's great. Um, <laughs> um, I maybe I should just do this all later. Although if I do this all later, then uh, I probably shouldn't work on events because literally every time I work on events, uh, I I'm like I wish I had this. <laughs> um. So, uh, okay, so hypothetically, if I wasn't going to work on this, what would I be working on instead? Uh, okay, I could try and balance experience by event type, although, I mean, if I don't have, if I don't have, like, like, I've already balanced most of my events pretty well, like, well enough, so, uh, I was, I was especially going to do this if, if I opened up the, if the, the, the quest creator template, then, uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, populate player list when script starts. Event hopper. <laughs> Organize events and environments. Uh, facts and prescripted events. I mean, I don't have to work on side quests today. I, I've, I've been working on side quests for like months now, and it was only supposed to last uh, a much shorter amount of time, so. I, uh, I'm kind of anticipating, like, the next time I get to a point where I don't really feel like, you know, where I don't, where, like, nothing on this list stands out as, like, something I feel like I need to do, like, immediately, or, like, in any near term. Like, I am, I'm not, like, ready to move on to my next project, per se, but I'm, 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 like, it's getting to the point where I'm anticipating that, so, uh, let's, uh, Let's do what? I do, oh, I do want to... I mean, there's a little thing that I started working on before that I, I never really finished. Uh, I started... Uh, but I, I think I do know what, know what I want to do with it, at least at this point, is uh, the... Um, what is it? Sheet 1 of this? No, Sheet 3. Uh, I started writing little snips for... Uh, for level-up messages, and... 
I, I think I realized what I want to do with it. Like, because, yeah, I've been, I've been talking about before, like, I was thinking maybe setting up little animated GIFs for when you level up so that you see, like, what your character looks like. I don't think I'm going to do that for literally every level. I think I'm going to do it at key levels. Um, specifically, like, uh, level 12 and 13. Basically, like, when a character, like, when a character's, like, armor set is, like, complete, I guess. So, like, uh... So it'll happen at level 12 and 13. Oh yeah, so when your when your armor set is complete and when uh uh <laughs> um, sorry, I was just catching up on chat. Um uh <laughs> um the uh yeah, when you so when you level up and, or when you level up to get a complete armor set and when you get a pet, which incidentally those things happen back to back. Um but yeah uh yeah so maybe i'll do uh huh i think i would like literally like do the same thing for both maybe in the case that you get like a pet it won't it'll just show the pet maybe it won't even show your character because that way it won't seem quite as redundant to, to see it twice in a row uh yeah something like that but then yeah so i'm not gonna make a gift for literally every level because that would be arduous and not fun um, it'll be, it'll, it'll be much, it'd be, it'll be much more, uh, feasible or like, you know, reasonably scoped to just do that. And then, so then the other thing is that, um, right. I'd been imposing like a character limit of like, you know, like 50, I, did, I think I was not going over 50 characters just because I didn't want to, or because I wanted to leave room for the URL of the image. But if I'm, if I'm not going to have images in most of these, uh, then I can, you know, I have more text to work with, too, which is kind of nice. Because um, the other thing I was thinking about this list is, uh... uh <laughs> um, the other thing about this list is that I... It's very, it's very centr it's very focused on, uh, like, the, the gear that you get when you level up. And I kind of wanted to, like, do more with it a little bit. So, this is another thing that I could do. Uh... Yeah. Ah, oh, man. If only... If only the submission form... was better. <laughs> um... <clears throat> I mean, I could just... I could arrange it in different ways. Like, I could, uh... Uh... What could I do? Um, hmm. I'm just trying... Because, like, this is... I mean, like, the way I had it before I started messing it, messing with it and making it weird and different, um, the way I had it then was, like, uh, was roughly correct. I mean, maybe I should just not make these fields required and then just, like, discard invalid data. But that's a little sad, because if you if you do everything right, but then you just forget one of these fields, like that part of like that that aspect of data validation is helpful. Oh, so wait, maybe instead of doing a required question, oh no no, no it wouldn't work. I was gonna say maybe I could just like basically make it validate so that it can't be blank. But I think if it's not a required question, it doesn't matter if it's blank. If you just skip it entirely, man. I. So, there's got to be out of it. I mean, I could break up the form. That's my other option. Is I I don't need to show all this on one page. I wanted to show all this on one page, but I could just like, I could just break it up into like separate pages and. Uh, maybe that'd be easier. Uh, no, it wouldn't. It certainly wouldn't be better. Um, because, like, this information is all, like, it's all very tied together. Like, the action one. Like, you have to... I mean, I could just get rid of the part where we specify the action tag. And I could, like, just hope people do it correctly. <laughs> Again, the more validation I get rid of, though... Uh... Ah, uh, yeah. I'll just, uh... All 
All right, I'll just I'll just simplify it, I guess. I'll just simplify it because I do want it. I do want this to work, and I want it to be done. I just uh, all right. So I'm gonna get rid of uh. All right, so I'm gonna change the uh. I'm gonna move this. Uh, whoops. I'm gonna move this text down to here. Uh. So, action three outcome optional. Uh, what happens? Uh, oh yeah. So uh. uh if your uh, event only has uh, two actions, uh, please ignore uh, this uh, question. Uh, what happens if uh, the third action wins? Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to get rid of the, uh, the part where we repeat the action tags and get rid of the, the headers as well, I think. And it'll just be like this. I think this is like the, again, this is like one of those scenarios where I'm not like figuring out what's best, I'm figuring out what's least worst, <laughs> which I guess is, you know, related, but uh, it's just not the same. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, uh, delete this, uh, delete this, uh, so, so yeah, so uh, yeah, let's change these as well. Uh, so. Uh, neutral outcome. Uh, what happens if the vote is split and none of the actions win? Actually, I call this a neutral outcome, but uh, uh, I'll call it the failed outcome. Actually, yeah, no, I'll, pu I'll put it first. I was going to say I shouldn't put it first. I should put it, like, last, but then some of these... I don't want to put it after the optional ones. I want the optional ones to be last, so, yeah, whatever. It's a little negative to start with the failed outcome, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, action uh, one uh, outcome. Uh, what happens if the first action wins? Uh, yeah. It's like that. So, action uh, two outcome. Uh, what happens if the uh, second action wins. And then, uh, oh yeah, so kind of like with uh, option three, or action three. Um, so action uh, four, uh, outcome uh, optional. Uh, uh, if your event only has, or if your event has uh, has three or fewer uh, actions, uh, please ignore this uh, question. Uh, what happens uh, if the fourth action wins? Uh, yes, done. All right. So this is a lot simpler. <laughs> this is a lot simpler. <laughs> And, uh, I don't know. My hope is that this is... Uh, it still feels like a lot. I just... like <laughs> The smaller text bar was too small, and this one's way too big. Um... <laughs> um... Oh, I wonder if I can, uh... Oh, I wonder if I can, like, validate by length of text, because that's the other thing, like, you can type a lot more text in here than I think would actually fit in the game. The game can only fit, like, you know, a lot less, I think, probably. Uh, like, significantly less than 500 characters, uh, I think is the limit for, uh, for, like, this stuff, because, yeah. Um, so wait, so advanced settings validation. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, this is the validation that doesn't even work. Uh... I mean, it'd be nice if that validation worked, but... Oh, maximum character count. Alright, maybe I'll just do maximum character count instead and not worry about that validation. Um, so, uh, yeah, so the maximum character count will be... Uh, I don't want it to be that long. Like, I really don't want it to be that, that long. 